wound like this, and 300 years ago, the first mechanical knitting frame was set up at Hinkley. It was the invention of an Elizabethan parson. Today, the silky white threads of rayon yarn are wound onto bobbins half a dozen or more at a time. And then it is fed to the knitting machine, a mechanical marble with 340 needles, part of a unit capable of knitting 60 stockings an hour. The knitter automatically reduces the number of loops as it nears the ankle, and so makes the shape. The stocking emerges as a long tube, which is cut off and examined on a pattern board. This machine knits fully fashioned stockings at the rate of 24 an hour. Now comes the welting, the turning in and sewing of the top to hold the suspender. After the loose ends have been cut off, the mock seams are put in and a good seamer can seam five stockings a minute. And lastly, the opening at the end of the toe is closed on a linking machine. The stockings are now bagged and placed in a rotary dyeing machine, after which the moisture is removed, first in an extractor and then in a drying press. The stockings are finished on a moving belt of leg-shaped metal forms at the rate of 400 pairs an hour. And then they are paired. Men with a good eye for stockings see that each pair is identical and flawless. Now watch the right way to put on stockings. And the same thing more or less applies to socks, fellas. First, she turns them inside out and tucks in the toes. Now she gently rolls the stocking over the foot and up the leg. In this way, there is no strain and the stocking fits perfectly. This stocking is the wrong size, too long, and in consequence, its life will be too short. Compare it with a snug fit of a stocking that is the right size, washed before it's worn and put on properly. You know, there's something in this stocking business. Hmm, she has lovely eyes.